before we get into anything more advanced, you have to learn how to even get into a stance. Um, you're going to hear your coach or someone say, get into your fighting stance. And you see so many different uh, styles and techniques. And you got to remember, there is no one way of just standing. You're going to see some fighters, like karate fighters, like to stand more sideways. Boxers will stand more sideways. But you got to remember, this is kickboxing. And we're going to look at how to stand as a kickboxer. So the first thing we're going to work on is our stance. And I always get the, everyone to stand shoulder width apart. Then you're going to bring, if you're a southpaw, your left leg back. If you're an orthodox fighter, your right side back. I'm an orthodox fighter, so I'm going to step back with my right foot. Matt Special beside me is a southpaw, so his left foot's going to go back. Troy Sheridan beside me is an orthodox fighter as well, so his right foot is going back. When they put their foot back, they stay square. And that's a big mistake you want in fighting because that's where people throw straight punches. So you're going to see jab crosses are very open uh, to attack. So if I bring Troy in, um, if he stands too square and his shoulders are square, okay, that is easy for straight punches. This is why we don't want to stay so square. It opens for straight punches. So what you want is you want to have your, your lead side in front a little bit more. So Troy's an orthodox fighter, so his left side is going to be in front. That narrows your center line, so you're no longer square. You narrow, and now you can use your lead side to block, easier to parry, easier to defend. Matt's a southpaw, so his right side's gonna be in front. So he's right side here. Again, big mistake is if he stands too square, again, open for attacks. So you gotta look, that is your window. You can use that as a strategy in later times of fighting, which we'll get to later on in the series. You can stay a little bit more square if you're maybe using your parry defense. Again, that's later down the road. First things first, second mistake people are going to make is when they have their foot here, they're going to bring this and put their heels in, in, in a line. Um, at this point, if your heels are in a line, you don't have good structural balance and to develop good power in your punching and kicks, you're not going to get it. So the key is make sure when you line up, your right foot goes back and you slightly lean. Do not get your heels in line. I want to see some space. A ball should be able to roll through your feet. Okay. And remember, with your stance, um, it changes. It's dynamic. You're never going to be in the same structured stance. Later on, I'm going to discuss defensive stance, which is a little bit shorter. You want to be a little bit shorter so you can block your attacks. If you're attacking and you know you're going to kick, you might lengthen your stance. So your stance changes as you throw different techniques or have different strategies. I'm looking at your hands. I call it the horns of your head. Um, it's the strongest part of your head. So you want to have your hands touching your head. Foot back, shoulder in front, hands touching. All right, so now we have a very strong structural stance, step one. And this is something you've got to constantly review, constantly go back to get people to test your, um, your defense, your stance, your footwork. Stronger footwork, more power. So bazooka style kickboxing, it's about power. It's about setting up power shots. It's about knockouts. It's about um, using good basics to be effective in fighting. Starts with a good stance. So now we're going to walk. And this is the most important thing is box stepping. People always step incorrectly. And the key to box stepping is our feet never want to cross. So I never want to have my feet cross. So with my guys behind me, we're going to work on good basic stepping. So again, structural, get into our position. When we're going to our left, right, our front foot leads out and our back foot comes back in position and we're back in our structural stance. So again, one more to the left, foot comes out, foot comes across. Big mistake people will make is they'll go with their back foot and at this point your feet are crossed. You're not in a position to attack, you're not strong structurally. So you always want to constantly keep that framework and structure in the stance. Now if we go to the right, right, left, right, left. Forward now, front foot, back foot, front foot, back foot, front foot, back foot. If I go backwards, back foot comes first, back foot, front foot. So you're constantly keeping the structure in the stance. That's what's called box stepping. So as one of my coaching drills for my beginners, I'll literally stand in front of the class and I'll just point a direction and have my guys move. Let's see it. So you have Troy um, over here. He's using dumbbells um, just to keep you know, weighted on his shoulders, help keep his shoulders nice and strong. Matt's just using his gloves. Different variations helps with different things. I change it up. I like a lot of weighted dumbbell work just to strengthen your shoulders and the joints and it helps with good punching power. So I'll stand in front of my class and I'll just point a direction. 
I don't even have to speak. And you can see both of their feet never cross. They're taking nice, small, calculated steps just to make sure they're always in a good, strong uh, structural support and framework. Good? Now, once you have those steps built in, they can do it as their own shadow drill. So I'll get my guys and I'll say, all right, three minutes round, go. And both of my guys will just go and pick directions they want. Right now, we're not punching yet. We're going to get into punching soon. But they're just going to move around the area, keeping good, proper, structural footwork and using their box step. Once you get comfortable with it, you can see Matt is adding a little shuffle. So he's adding a little shuffle back left and right. But just make sure their feet never cross. That is the key. So you're adding skips, steps, but again, their feet never cross. If your feet cross, you're open to low kicks, you change the structure in your hand, and their hand position is nice and tight. Reiterating, good basics, good footwork, strong head defense. Everything is solid in their footwork. Now, you can make it even easier. We're going to start very easy, and we're just going to add a simple one-two to our step. So once you get into a position you like, you're just going to throw some straight punches, get back into your position. Step, step, you can throw a one-two. Step, step, you throw a one-two. Step, step, throw a one-two. Doesn't have to be on every step. You can step a few times and back. You might step left, then right, and then throw. But you're constantly changing. You're being unpredictable. Forward, backward, sideways. Uh, we're just going to go for about 10, 15 seconds on our own just to show you how it works. Okay? Let's go, guys. And I would use this, usually I like to do this in the beginning of my class, just as a, a good reference, as a good base, get everyone on the same page. And you're going to notice, if you do even spend five minutes on this before class, or before hitting pads, or before sparring, your footwork, your power will develop with good basics and good foundation in your stance. There you have it, that's episode one, working on solid footwork and stepping. Next week, you got to subscribe below. Episode 2 is going to show how we're going to use our strong footwork and our stepping to create power in our strikes. Follow along, subscribe, leave comments, like. Uh, let's build this up. The more you like, the more you comment, the more you watch this, the more videos and the more motivation I'm going to have to keep releasing and showing you guys all my good stuff that made me so successful.